Poland and Hungary are once again under the rule of law spotlight. According to the European Commission's annual report, the two are failing to address concerns with the state of their democracies. In the case of Poland, the situation is not improving. Warsaw is now facing a daily fine of 1 million euros imposed by the EU's top court over a lack of independence in its judiciary. The accumulated total is now at least 300 million euros. Certainly we continue to ask to pay the fine, but the goal is not the fine. The goal is a full implementation of the requirements of the Court of Justice. And if it's the case, it will be possible to stop the procedure. But the fines alone won't change the long-standing situation. The European Commission recently approved Poland's 35.4 billion pandemic recovery plan in a bid to force it to address concerns. But Brussels says many of the changes remain cosmetic, which is why the EU is yet to release any money. Unless money is withheld, there's not going to be an incentive for these governments to change. Um, but in the case of Poland, there is a uh, political question. Um, is, uh, does Poland deserve more support because of what it's been doing over Ukraine? Is it important to keep Poland stable because of its vital strategic position related to, to the war in Ukraine? These are legitimate questions that, the, from a political perspective, the Commission can continue, uh, can um, consider. But it means that enforcement of rule of the rule of law um, suffers. Hungary is the other EU country widely criticized in the report. Corruption, a lack of media freedom and excessive emergency powers of the Orban government remain a concern in Brussels. But Budapest, with no hope of seeing its 7.2 billion recovery plan approved anytime soon, is starting to feel the lack of EU funds. This also, however, shows that the withdrawal of money is working. Uh, Hungary's government is finding it difficult to raise funds. They know they need those, mon uh, those monies, and that's why they're um, engaging in these um, foolish um, domestic political initiatives. The annual report has recommendations for all member states, with most concerns linked to media freedom and the way judges are elected. Christopher Pidges, Euronews, Brussels.